Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Demo Destruction 5 pack by Hot Wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are excited for today's video because I know I am. It's going to be a real fun time here. I am a huge fan of demolition derbies. I always have been. They would be my favorite motorsports if some redneck didn't come up with the idea of tough trucks. Demolition derbies would for sure be my favorite motorsport. It is literally a sport that is 100% dedicated to the concept of, hey, I got a race car and going fast is fun and all. But what if we just didn't do that? What if like the goal was to destroy everything and anything around us? And then that's how the demolition derby was made. Anyway, I'm kind of repeating myself here because for those of you who don't remember, if you go back and look at my channel, Hot Wheels Playlist, if you want to make yourself make it your life really easy, there is a uh, a video about a 2022 Hot Wheels 5 pack that mysteriously goes by the name of Demo Destruction, which is funny because that's the same name that this 5 pack goes by. Hot Wheels decided two years in a row, and I got to appreciate Hot Wheels for this, because like I said, I absolutely love Demolition Derby, so this made me a happy little man. Um, Hot Wheels decided that for two years in a row, they were going to do Demolition Derby play sets, or five packs. And I got so excited when I heard that they were making another one. And that not only did the excitement end with the fact that they were making another one, it continued because this five pack includes my all-time favorite Hot Wheels casting. So why would I not be excited for this? Anyway, self rant or self, you know, appreciation aside, I'm going to show off this five pack today. Now, there's a lot to talk about here because there's two castings in here that are actually really interesting. One of which is my favorite. Then, then we got, you know, my favorite castings in here. Again, got a service vehicle like we did in the last video. And then the last car is an interesting one, and I'll explain why. Anyway, let's do this. We're going to start off with car number one. I'm not going to put this on my leg. I'm going to put this down here because I feel like I'm going to drop all the cars on the floor if I let it rest it on my leg. I'm going to get excited about something and just fling the packaging everywhere. <laughs> Probably. Anyway. Let's get right into it. The I shouldn't have taken that out of my way. Now I don't know what the cars are. Okay, here we go. Now I'm ready. Now, now I'm ready. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first car that we got in today's video is known as Flat Iron. And here's what it looks like. So this casting is really interesting because as you can see, it is completely flattened. Uh, this casting was actually made for the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks line. It was meant to be a crush car that could actually have a paint design on it and could roll. So that was something that Hot Wheels came up with. And I got to say, I'm glad that they did this because these things look so, so much better than just the plastic little molds of crush cars. These things looks, look more realistic for crush car purposes. So yeah, this is flat iron. Now there are four types of these kinds of crush cars. There's flat iron, which is a wagon, a uh, speed bump, which is a coupe. Then there is, uh, what's the other one? Speed bump. There's blindsided, which is a van, like a Dodge van. Then there's a fourth one that I can never remember the name of. And that's going to bug me. Crap. Let me look real quick. I don't want to be wrong about this. Okay. I just remembered what the other one is. It's sudden stop. And I think sudden stop is a like a coupe or not like a sedan maybe i don't know sudden stop and speed bump are <laughs> sudden stop is just a longer like more elongated version of speed bump flat iron is a wagon and then of course blindsided which we'll actually see in today's video is a van anyway so here's flat iron got a beautiful candy apple red paint job with a gray or that's black black uh chassis we got black tires here with gray rims, white tires up front with blue rims. Looks really cool. And then the paint scheme here, we got some stripes 045 on the side, flat iron with the Hot Wheels logo. Flip it over to the other side, it's the exact same thing, but mirrored. Hot Wheels logo here. One thing that I always love about Demolition Derby die casts is that usually they have split paint jobs. This one does not. But usually what you'll see with Demolition Derby die casts is one side will look one way, the other side will look another way. Because that's realistic to the real cars. They don't try to make it look like an actual race car. They try to make it look graffiti, like graffiti on wheels, which is a good look. I kind of like that. And you know, when you're doing an event where it's all about causing as much destruction as possible, you don't want your vehicle to look like a high class, you know, race car. You want it to look like trash because that's what it's going to be when you're done. 
But anyway, yeah, that is flat iron. Really cool. Um, I'm probably going to use this in a demolition derby video at some point, but for sure, it's definitely going to make its way into a monster jam video because it's our, like I said, it's a crush car. This is, was made as a crush car, not as a demolition derby car. I don't know why everything in my studio is deciding it hates me all of a sudden, but anyway, let's just get the turntable going before my like camera or light catches on fire. Now it is time for the car that I am excited for. This is the Cruise Bruiser, which as I've said before many times on the channel when I review this car, this is my all-time favorite Hot Wheels casting. And the reason why is because this was the car that got me inspired to start collecting. Again, like I said, I've always been a fan of Demolition Derbies. When I got the first, when I got my first ever version of Cruise Bruiser, it was the classic orange version from 2016, the first version of the car ever made. And when I got it, I said, man, this car is really cool. If they make any future versions, I really want to get them because I really love this car. And so that's what I did. I started hunting down this car specifically, and then it just grew into the main line. And now I'm where I am today, where I'm just collecting like main line, five packs, special series. I don't collect everything. I just go after certain things. And... If it's got Cruise Bruiser in it, then I will for sure pick it up and do a video on that series, which you will actually see an example of that here soon. Anyway, here's the Cruise Bruiser. We've got a white body, a chrome, uh, plat or chrome insert here for all the details, gray chassis. The back tires are black with green rims. The front tires are pink with black rims, which looks really cool. The car itself, as you can see, has a number five back here. It's got a bunch of paint splatters, green, black paint splatters. Then we've got this mouth with these yellow teeth. It actually looks pretty neat. Cruise brews are written in there. It's, it's really cool. I love the way that looks. And if we flip over to the other side, it is the same thing. Again, no split paint job, but I'm sure one of these cars will have a split paint job. I'm confident. Confident in that. But yeah, we got the giant engine here with the stacks on it. And of course, the anchor in the back to keep the back end from sliding around. It's, yeah, this vehicle is decked out, and I absolutely love it. Always been a fan of Cruise Bruiser, and I realized that I completely missed something here because I'm going to show the bottom of this one. And then real quick before we move on, I want to show the bottom of Flat Iron because I forgot to do that, like an absolute dingling. Here's the bottom of Flat Iron. But anyway, yeah, there we go. That is our second vehicle in today's video, the Cruise Bruiser. As with most motorsports five packs, there's always a service vehicle of some kind. In the Circle Track five pack, we did get to see that. In the Circle Track five pack, we got a water truck. In the last Demolition Derby five pack, we got a tow truck. And in this one, we got a tow truck. This is Repo Duty. Repo Duty, like I said, is a tow truck. So if we take a look at the side panel here, as you can see, the body is blue. We've also got this orange plastic piece right here to make up the bottom of the body. And the base is chrome we got black tires with yellow rims which look really good so here's basically the truck as a whole you got 24 hour service there you got a chain on the side you know because it is a tow truck with this really cool wreck recovery hot wheels logo there on the side panel as well huge stacks as well with the lights up there it's a pretty neat little vehicle i won't lie again no split paint job but i assure you one of these is going to have a split paint job and then here's the back end, and we got the controls for the lift back here. Now, I'm pretty sure this actually works. If we were to get, let's say, flat iron here, because, you know, if a demolition derby car looked like this afterwards, there'd be two people on duty right in the middle of the arena. You'd have the tow truck to get the car out of there and a hearse to take the guy to the funeral because there's no way he survived that. But yeah, so say, for instance, car gets destroyed, right, and they got to pull it out. So what they're going to do is they're going to call in repo duty. He's going to put the, the wheels of the car up on here like this, and he's going to drag the car out on its bumper because the, the tires don't touch the ground. There we go. I forget. I'm, I'm a dingling. I forget you're supposed to put the back tires in. But as you can see, you hooked up the tires, and then you can haul the car out. And I'll show it also works on Cruise Bruiser as well. Right like that. Put the back tires in the little notches, right like that. And then you can haul the Cruise Bruiser out after he's been destroyed. 
but he will never be destroyed because he is the toughest demolition derby car out there and will probably destroy everybody around him. But yeah, that is Repo dir dir Dirty, Repo Dirty. This is Repo Duty, our service vehicle of the five pack. Next up, we have another hunk of metal on wheels. This is blindsided. Now, I mentioned this bit towards the beginning of the video. This is the another one of the Monster Truck Crush cars. This one is a van, which looks pretty cool. I love the detail that they put into the... I love the, how they actually make them look like they're destroyed. That is such, such hard detail to get on a die-cast model, but they nailed it. It looks great. So, yeah, we've got a black body with a green chassis. We have got... White wheels in the back with black rims. And up front, we've got blue wheels with, I think those are green. Nope, silver. Blue wheels with silver rims up front. Looks really good. The side panel features all these stripes, which look really neat. We got the number three here as well with the Hot Wheels logo. It's a pretty neat little side panel design. I really do like the way that looks. It does look like a demolition derby car. This one does. Even though you really wouldn't see a van like this in a demolition der derby. Oh, oh, it finally happened. We got a split paint job, guys. Look at that. The colors are just ever so slightly different on the other side. But that means I was right that this does have it, that we did get a split paint job vehicle. Yes. Yes. But yeah, so there you go. Just a slight split. You can see that there are slightly different colors. But anyway, this side features the same pattern with the, with the uh, stripes and everything. Got the three there, which is uh, facing the correct direction. I thought it wasn't. And we got a pink Hot Wheels logo on this side. But yeah, this is, oh, look at that metal flake. Look at that metal flake black. That looks awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so here is blindsided. I just realized I forgot to show the bottom of Repo Duty. Probably because I call it I called it Repo Dirty and I laughed at it because I'm goofy like that. But yeah, here's the bottom of Repo Duty right there so you can get that. And anyway, that is car number four, which is our van blindsided. One final car to go before we can call it quits for today. This is Project Speeder. Project Speeder here is a really interesting car, and I'll show it off why exactly. So we've got a purple body, green window inserts. We've got a red chassis, black tires with orange rims in the back, and the front tires are black with green rims. But as you can see, the rims are actually skulls, which looks really good. I love that. The side panel features some flames and some scratching with the number two there. Pretty simple little uh, side panel job, and this side looks exactly the same. I'm so glad that Blindsided featured that slight paint difference, or else I would have been wrong about the split paint job thing. But technically, I'm right because the colors were different. And then, of course, you got the exposed engine, but this is the front end of the vehicle. It's pretty much all ripped out and destroyed, and the reason why is actually lies in the name of this vehicle. Again, this vehicle is called, oh, this has, weird. It has a, uh, has an airbag in the back. That's in, or like a parachute in the back, like a drag car would. Now, the reason why this car is called Project Speeder is because it has a sister vehicle. This is Muscle Speeder. I think you can see the connection that is going on here. Muscle Speeder is a car that Hot Wheels made a while back. And basically it is a really fast, just like, you know, muscle car. Um, the thing that is so interesting about Project Speeder here is that it's meant to look like a torn apart project car version of this car. This car is the project version of this. And you can see there are some changes. Like look at the front ends, for example, Project Speeder is all destroyed. Muscle Speeder is all put together. The motors are very different. If you look at the engines, they are incredibly different. And then, of course, I mentioned, like, the back end was weird to me because it's got a parachute on the back end. Muscle Speeder just has a license plate spot. 
So I don't know, that was kind of strange to me. But yeah, everything else is pretty much an exact replica of the original car, except for those few changes. And maybe the windows are different. The windows are slightly different, that's about it. Muscle Speeder, everybody, our special guest for today's video. And then I'll show you the bottom of Project Speeder right here, so you can see that. And there you go, that is the fifth and final car for today's video. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know I did. I'm very excited to finally have this five pack out of package. And uh, yeah, that's really all I got to say. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next Weston Racing unboxing video, which by the looks of things is Matchbox Cars. Peace out.